Hello everybody. How's it going? It's going good for me. A little bit of cloud cover day. The sun's shining right now a little bit, but there's a little bit of cloud cover. Chance of rain a couple times throughout this week. We just got rain the other day and cooled things off. So the temperature's been mild. That had been hot for a couple weeks, like near 100 degrees for two weeks straight and couldn't stand that. But it's cooling that off a little bit, so I'm able to get a few things done. I put my insurance card, new insurance card, in the van we just purchased. And I decided to get the owner's manual book out to check on the oil, see what weight of oil I need to purchase for that when it needs oil changed. It had been recently changed. The guy that purchased, or had the van that we purchased it from and just changed all the fluids and stuff. But I wanted to be prepared for when this next service is due. And uh, so I checked the weight of the oil that I needed. I need 5W20 engine oil. And I was reading, I always change my oil like any used vehicles I've ever bought. In. Um, I've always changed the oil every 3,000 miles. When my kids were younger, we'd just buy cheap cars and uh, drive them till they drop, but we faithfully change the oil every 3,000 miles. And I know a lot of people, these newer cars, some of them will say change oil every 5,000 miles or every 10,000 miles. And to me, that seems like a long time to go driving on oil before you change it, even if it's a full synthetic oil. I'll give you an example. Our BMW says to change oil every 10,000 miles, and it is running on a full synthetic oil. But we take it in and change the oil every 5,000 miles. Um, we take the dealership and have them change it. And to be honest with you, it's kind of expensive. And every three to four weeks, my wife's getting the oil changed because we drive her car a lot of miles. And every three to four weeks, we spend $100 to get the oil changed. The oil's about $14 a quart now, I think. And the filter's about 20 And then they fill it up with DEF fluid because it is a diesel. And it does take the DEF fluid. But anyhow, I was reading in this owner's manual of our van and it says change engine oil and I've, I've looked in owner's manuals of other vehicles I've gotten used vehicles and kind of thumbed through them if I didn't know something about the car but I've never really come across this because I've always just automatically changed oil every 3,000 miles but here's what they say about change engine oil road conditions and your kind of driving affect the intervals of which your oil should be changed. Check the following list to see if, see if any apply to you. Day or night temperatures below 32 degrees. Stop and go driving. Extensive engine idle. Driving in dusty conditions. Short trips or less than 10 miles. More than 50% of your driving is at sustained high speeds during hot weather, above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Trailer towing, taxi, police, or delivery service. So some of you people that are doing Uber driving or Uber Eats, you might want to consider changing your oil more often. And then off-road or desert operations. And it says, if any of these apply to you, then change your engine oil every 3,000 miles. Or three months, whichever comes first. Well, I couldn't go three months. Like I said, my wife and I, we drive her car, and we're getting the oil changed every three to four weeks. And we change it at 5,000 intervals. 5,000 mile intervals. So, And the book calls for 10. And it says, if none of these apply to you then change your oil every 6,000 miles or six months whichever comes first under no circumstances should oil be changed in intervals exceeding 6,000 miles or six months so there you go if you're uh, driving your car like short trips or driving it for long periods of time in excessive heat, like if you live in the desert area, or even anywhere where the temperature is above 
90 degrees, which for two weeks it was almost 100 degrees here. So, or if you're in dirt or dusty climates, like you drive a gravel road a lot, different things like that. I want to take that into consideration. And like this van we got, we'll change it every 3,000 miles. We won't be driving it constantly, but we will be driving it so we aren't putting so many miles on the BMW. And if the grandkids are along, they're going to be getting in the van. It's just too hard to get in and out of the backseat of the BMW. We're going to get the BMW detailed. My wife will drive it back and forth to work. And then we'll save it for when we go to weddings or a funeral or anything like that. We have to drive and have nice clothes on, have to stay clean. It has leather seats. We'll get them, get the car de detailed again. We did it a few years ago, but it needs detailed again. And we'll use the van for hauling the dogs to the vets, getting their checkups and such. And then we'll also use it to haul our grandchildren around when they go with us places. So the maintenance on vehicles are important. They'll last longer. The BMW dealer where we, well, the dealership where we take our car to get service they always say you know you can go 10,000 miles and I just tell them yeah but I plan on driving that car a million miles so if I change it every five hopefully I reach that goal so maintenance is maintenance maintenance is important so you want to make sure you take good care of your cars and trucks and they'll last longer and save you money in the long run because you're not purchasing a new vehicle because the engine blew up or transmission quit and such well that's my tip on maintenance for today. Take care of your cars and the last. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. See y'all later. And don't forget I love you. Bye.